everyone, it's Liz from RBG. I'm excited to talk to you about garlic. I'm gonna show you how to plant garlic and how to harvest it so you can get the full garlic journey with me. So I've got a big head of garlic that has been dried out and you can see it's got this root plate on it. To get it ready for planting, what I need to do is break this head up and break off our root plate so that the cloves are ready to plant. So I broke up that head of garlic and now I have all of these cloves which are perfect seed cloves to plant. The best time to plant garlic in Ontario is the fall. I prefer mid-October. Garlic is a plant that really needs the cold to activate it so that it can become that great big head of garlic by the time you harvest it in August. So mid-October is a great time to plant. It's not too close to the frost line. It's just enough time for it to develop a nice root system before the cold hits and activates it. So come on over to the garden bed uh, and I'll show you how to plant it. All right, so we've got these cloves here, you'll notice that they have a, a pointy part and a flat part. Now the pointy part points up towards the sun. And when you're planting garlic, I like to use my hand as a measurement. So a thumb deep, a hand width apart for your cloves. So you just put your thumb in the soil until you're up to your first knuckle. Plant your clove, point up, cover that up. Then a hand width, your next hole, put that in, cover it up. Now some people like to mulch this over the winter. That's a great idea to protect your uh, garlic. If you want to leave it unmulched, just make sure it's in a really sheltered space in your yard. So we're all set now. This is good to overwinter and we'll get to watch it grow through the spring until harvest time in August. So it's about mid-August now and it's time to harvest this garlic. I've left it a little long. Uh, a good time to harvest is earlier in August. You can see my garlic started to droop a little bit. That's usually your sign that it's time to harvest. Another great option is if the scape, so that's the green part, if it starts flowering, that's another good time to know that it's time to harvest your garlic. So this is the fun part. So when you harvest it, it's the same as you would harvest any sort of stocked plant because the garlic that you want is actually underground. You're going to grab the base of it and just pull straight up. There's one. Look at that. Nice little clove there. Okay, so I've got my garlic cloves. Here they are. Some years you get really lucky and you get uh, heads with multiple cloves of garlic in them. This year I didn't, but they're still gonna be delicious. So what I'm gonna wanna do now is I'm gonna save a couple of these to plant again next year. And I'm also going to save a couple to cook. Either way, I'm gonna wanna hang them to dry first. So just hang them up like that. So my garlic has dried out. I've broken off that root plate. Once again, I'm left with these little cloves. So I'll keep some, I'll plant some, and our garlic circle is complete for the year. So I hope you like this video. I hope that you try this out at home in your garden. And if you want to see more videos like this, check out rbg.ca slash at home. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time.